What's up, Phoenix? It's your boy Monty here at Phoenix Comic Con 2014. Everybody's amped up, getting ready to go in, so let's get to it. All right, Phoenix, here we are inside the Phoenix Comic Con 2014. Um, tell me, how did you come up with your costume? Uh, well, this one was actually a request from a friend. Um, we were all doing a big group, and she requested that I cosplay this character. And so I told her yes, because this is just an amazingly brilliant outfit. So for, so, so for, for us that don't know who the character you are, can you explain who the character is? Um, I honestly don't know much about her, but her name is Kanaya. She's from the webcomic Homestuck. Uh, so yes, I'm not familiar, but I figured why not. <laughs> so how long did it take you to do your, your whole costume makeup? From start to finish, uh, making the cosplay took me 47 hours. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then it takes two hours to get into this. Wow. How long did it just take just for you to do your face? Just my face was probably about 35, 40 minutes. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so like if anyone wanted to contact you to, you know, take pictures with you or just have them show up at the party or something, how could they get a hold of you? Um, I'm on Facebook. Uh, my name is Danny Smith on Facebook. So you can find me on there. there you'll know it's me because there's tons of pictures of cosplays. So, so how long have you been coming from? Uh, this is my fourth year. Yeah, fourth year. And how many years have you been dressing up? Um, give or take about six, but I really started getting into it about four years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, folks, there you have it, Comic Con 2014. Shout out. Uh, just to Renee, I love her. She's my inspiration, and she's my number one everything. <laughs> uh, thank you for your time. Thank All right, you. Let's, get, let's get going. All right. All right, here we go. We got another character here at Phoenix Comic Con 2014. Ryan, tell me about your outfit. Okay, um, it's from Angel Beats. I'm Yui, and she's the second singer uh, for Girls Dead Monster. Can you please go into a little bit of detail in, in, to the character? Like, what is the, what is the whole story behind about Dead Monster? Um, well, Yui doesn't come in until like the third episode when the main lead singer uh, leaves and she finds peace. And um, so Yui comes in and she's like the, because there's no other singer, so Yui comes in. And um, you don't find out much about her character. She's like really hyper, she's really energetic. Um, yeah, that's, that's you. Yeah, and then but she like totally clashes with this one character named Hinata, who is one of my favorites. And um, later on, you find out her backstory and how she. When she was alive, she was paraplegic and she couldn't move and she didn't she couldn't do things that she wanted to in life. And um, basically the point of the like the show is to help uh, the spirits move on. And um Utsunashi, the main character, finally was able to uh, help her move on. Um, and the help with the help of Hinata, the person that she clashes with, right. because he tells her that she would marry her one day. Uh -oh. Watch and, out now. Talk about drama, talk about yeah. drama. So how did you get involved in to doing cosplay with all this stuff? Actually, my friend introduced me, and I was really interested in it at first. Like, I've always wanted to do it, but I just never knew how to. And so last year, I had the opportunity to cosplay a Starfire for the first time, and it was I had the best time. And ever since then, I've been going to uh, cons with her. Really? So how many cons have you been to? This is my second one. Oh, it's my second one, too. Really? Yeah, so my brother's driving me along the first one. Now I love it. Yeah, I love no, it. It's like, I gotta it. go. This guy's like, I have to go, I have to go. Yeah. So tell me, how long did it take you to do your outfit and everything? Well, this one I kind of ordered online. <laughs> so it didn't take that long. Right. But like, if I were to do it, it probably would have taken me a while. But my Starfire one is actually homemade and I made it all myself. So you, you've done costumes in the past and this one? Yeah, yeah. This is like um, my second that I bought online. Starfire was my first and my baby. Oh, nice. So, like, if someone wanted you to come over for, like, a party, for a kid's party, stuff like that, how could they get a hold of you? Um, email? Email? Yeah. Email. Do you guys, you have Facebook? Uh, I do. I have a cosplay Facebook. Oh, what's your cosplay name? Maya Andrews. Maya Andrews. All right, there you go. All right, let's get back to everybody. You know, Phoenix Comic Con, so huge. All right, let's get back a little bit. Peace. What's up, Phoenix? It's getting to the end of the day. I'm here with... Tell me about your, your character, who you are, and, and why you're dressed like Alright, so I'm cosplaying as Kakashi Takake from Naruto. Um, I'm cosplaying this character because, well this is the female version, but um, the male version, I'm just completely in love with that character. Right. He's so cool, um, his abilities are really amazing, and he's also really cute. So, <laughs> yeah. 
So for some of us that don't know about this character, um, what, what is the, the storyline, just a short clip notes of the storyline of the character? Well, um, he's a ninja from Konoha Village. Um, he was in a group called Anbu, which is like kind of like the FBI of the ninja world. And um, he got out and he trains like smaller ninjas to become, you know, like him. And um, he's just basically a badass. year back in two years, um, and I found out about Comic-Con that it was going on maybe like two months before it started, so I was like, okay, I really got to get this together, so um, it, it took me a month and a half to get all my stuff together, and even now it's still not finished because oh, wow. I ordered a lot of stuff from China, uh -huh. and it took forever to get over here, right. so yeah, I'm missing the best and all that bunch of other stuff, um, but yeah, cosplay takes an enormous amount of time. Yes, so, how long have you been coming to Comic Con? Um, I would say about five years. Wow. So yeah. you were you, you were like when like in Mesa when it first when it really like started like four hundred people. Now right. it's grown to like over uh, fifty five thousand yeah. people when last it, year. Yeah, when it first started, I mean it was tiny. It was one little building. Um, you know, me and my friends we just like went to the vendor hall. We went to like a few panels. It was so small. But now like I have trouble finding where things are because it's so big. how I say it. it's just like back then being a geek wasn't as popular as right, now definitely, definitely. like being a geek you know I don't know if you remember but Tommy managed to get Steve Urkel the suspenders and stuff like that you know now it's it's, it's a trend it's right, bad right. you know do you think do you see that bad fading out anytime soon or is this is this is Comic Con here to stay not fade out I think it's definitely here to stay um This is side of my viewers they never know about. I'm a, I'm a comic book nerd, so. You know, oh, okay. Yeah, so you are. This is my second con, you know, so uh, it's been great. You know, first, you know, being a past and everything. So don't be afraid to be who you are and, and stand up for what you think is right. Definitely, yeah. So, all right, guys, it's getting late. I'm getting ready to shut down. So, uh, I'll catch you later. It's the day two tomorrow. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. Please like the video, subscribe. If you'd like to see my interview with Jasmine and the Mermaid, uh, hit the link. And uh, remember, players, we do this for life.